right, so tell us about FuseX. Hi, so my name is Phil Kim. I'm a U.S. attorney for the FuseX team. Uh, so we are a company that are a team that forms a crypto card. Essentially, one of the hard things about uh, cryptocurrency or the challenges of cryptocurrency is the ability to use it as currency and to purchase items or services. So we basically provide a platform and technology uh, to users and possessors of cryptocurrency so that it could actually be used as a currency. So this card right here basically entails everything. So in order to um, function this card, there's also a passcode that needs to be entered. So there's a security element to this card as well. And this is connected to your mobile phone. So if this disconnected out of Bluetooth range, essentially, uh, this card is essentially useless. So we provide extra security elements to this card. So it's not a, just a convenience matter, but we also uh, highlight and focus on the security element as well. Uh, so you could add up to 15 different cryptocurrencies into this account and uh, the users will be able to decide which cryptocurrency they want to use and which cryptocurrency they're going to use for the transaction. So uh, it does the conversion for you in terms of what the fiat value is, depending how much uh, cryptocurrency you have. So it's very convenient for the users and uh, I think and the users, from what I could tell, uh, have been, you know, very, you know, waiting patiently for this card. And we are going to plan to release this card into the market quarter three to quarter four of this year, but so stay tuned. So uh, many of the people, many of the companies here at the conference are ICOs, but yeah, yeah. you guys are not. Do you find it's hard to kind of promote yourself when everyone is so interested in ICOs? Um, not necessarily, because we already complete our ICO. Uh, we completed our ICO in February. We, you know, thankfully, uh, due to a lot of interest in our products and our services, uh, we managed to uh, collect 40,000 ethers. So because of the completion of ICO and the, uh, and the interest in, the, in our product, I don't think that's, you know, I don't think that's a handicap. I think for most of the investors and the users of this product have been very interested and waiting patiently for this. So we are planning to release this, you know, into the market as soon as possible, but also uh, we are going to, you know, we do want to inform the public that compliance with the law and regulation is also of utmost importance as well. So that is why it, takes, take, it has been taking a little bit of time, but uh, I could tell, I'll tell the, uh, the general public that it is, it is going to be worth the wait since it is a product that has been sorely needed uh, by the community. All right. Uh, do you have any social media you want to plug right quick? Uh, so www.fusex.co. We also have a Telegram page, so if you scroll down to the bottom, it shows our Facebook page, Telegram page, and other social medias. And uh, so we look forward to connecting with the public more. So thank you for your time. All right, great. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about Bitfence. Well, Bitfence, we're a cybersecurity company. And um, we've taken advantage of the blockchain technology to create an opportunity for people to mine hacker data. So basically what we got is just a simple Raspberry Pi device that we've loaded our software on. And it, it provides an appealing target for hackers. So they're they're going to bombard your network anyway. Um, so if we give them a target, they come in, they hack this device. And when they hack this device, we record the hacker's signature data. We upload it to our live threat feed, which then protects our subscriber network from real life threats. So what it's created is a way to incentivize people to create these honeypots for hackers to give us the data that we need to be able to protect them from real life threats. Is there anything like this on the market, or are you guys the first? We're, we're the first that we know of. We haven't seen anything like it. Um, I mean, obviously, there are other companies that have created a honey net, but never like crowdsourced through the blockchain. So, uh, so where can people buy this? Is it for sale yet? Well, our ICO is, is live right now, um, but the devices go uh, on sale July 1st. You mentioned ICO. Uh, do you want to give us some details about your token and your funding goals? You know. Um, that's really more for on my on my partner side. You can kind of see any of that information on our website. Um, we are we've got strong momentum going, um, but yeah, I let him kind of get get you in the details on the ICO side. Okay, all right, thank you. Hey, thanks a lot. I'm here with Alexander Tkachenko, uh, founder and CEO of VNX. So. Uh, you spoke earlier today at the uh, conference on stage about your project. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what you're doing and what you're hoping to achieve in the space? Um, we are an exchange 
for the tokens that are linked to the existing portfolios of venture capital funds and accelerators. So the funds or accelerators issue tokens that are linked to the future income that they're planning to receive and um, uh, get liquidity. What we are planning to do is to open the venture capital market to the wider uh, audience of investors. At the moment, the uh, venture capital is a very interesting industry and a very, very interesting asset class. Um, it yields good results, but you have to have quite a substantial amount of money to invest, typically in a fund, number one. Number two, you are locked for a reasonable amount of time. Let's say an average uh, life expectancy of a fund is 10 to 12 years. So you have to wait for a while. Um, so what we're planning to change is we would like to make at least a part of those investments liquid. So you will be able to trade our uh, tokens of the venture funds on our platform. And uh, um, you can start from as little as one dollar. So how would you say this is an improvement over uh, traditional VC? Uh, obviously the, the liquidity and, uh, but what else would you, would you say maybe it, uh, would bring in more funds or make it just easier? Um, how, just how would it improve over traditional VC? Uh, the traditional VC is now focused on a very, very, uh, let's say top of the market. Those guys with big checks and who can wait for a reasonably long period of time. Um, by working with us, they will open themselves to a much larger audience and they will open up to the liquidity. Um, more liquidity for the venture capital funds and accelerators means more funding for startups. More funding for startups means more job creation, more companies started, more technological breakthroughs, and in essence, uh, much faster progress. So what's the timeline for VNX? Is it live yet? Is it still in development? or It's in development. We hope to launch uh, in the first half of the next year. And uh, the big question is, are you having an ICO? No, we're not having an ICO, we're fundraising. Uh, there will be tokens that are linked to the platform oh, yeah. issued. Okay, so what's the, the timeline on VNX? Is it live yet or are you in development? Um, just sort of, where, what stage are you at right now? We are at the development stage. We hope to launch in the first half of the next year. Okay. And you mentioned that you weren't doing an ICO, but you are doing just regular fundraising. Uh, what was your reasoning behind not doing a token sale? Uh, we are filing for the license, uh, or we plan to file for a license in Luxembourg. Therefore, we would like to do everything by the book. So we will be raising funds from accredited investors and institutional investors. Uh, so where can the internet find you online? Social media, website, anything like that? Yes, uh, you can uh, type vnx.io and Google will help you find us. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.